Looking today at Psalm chapter 5, I'm going to read verses 7 and 8. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in the fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. So David in this psalm is reminding us that it's because of God's steadfast love that we get to enter his house. We're welcomed into God's presence, not because of anything that we've done, not because of our own righteousness, but because of the love that God showed for us in sending Jesus to die in our place on the cross. And that should humble us. You see, we're not deserving in and of ourselves. Our righteousness is a gift. We haven't earned it. It should also fill us with hope, enabling us to sing for, it, for joy. For we know that God's love is steadfast. It will not fail. He is unwavering, unchanging and constant. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. The rules aren't suddenly going to be changed on us. He won't eventually tire of us the way we get bored of yesterday's trends and move on to the next new thing. Like, I mean, is anyone still making banana bread the way everyone seemed to be at the start of lockdown? But God's love is steadfast and trustworthy. So the application of that is that David was all too aware of the sins of the evildoers in his day. He knew that he needed God's protection to help him live righteously and faithfully in the midst of a broken, fallen world. And we too find ourselves living amongst people who don't honour God, who don't walk in obedience to God's ways. We see rebellion to the word of God all around us. We too must ask God for help in following his straight way and shining as a witness of righteousness to the world around us. So as we take time to pray, echo David's prayer today that God would lead you in righteousness. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom for decisions you have to make today. Thank Jesus for the steadfast love he showed in being obedient to death, even death on a cross. Let's pray.